All right, so today I wanna to show you how to make nitro cold brew coffee at home using equipment you probably have at your house already. That way you don't have to go to that big buck store in order to be able to get this delicious drink. All right, so for our nitro cold brew, we're gonna need some actual cold brew coffee. So if you have a grinder like I do, all you need to do is just grind this on the coarsest setting possible. But if not, you can find the cold brew coffee at the store. Additionally, I think it would be fine if you just used regular coffee grounds. Just go ahead and pour that into a mason jar and you know make sure to spill as much as you can all over the counter. Really what we need is about one cup of coffee grounds. Now to this, we're gonna add three cups of cold water. Make sure that you also spill it on your table. And once you've poured in all the water, it's just a matter of mixing it up with a spoon to really make sure that all of the grounds get soaked in that water. And then, I mean, that's the beauty of cold brew coffee. All we need to do is just stick this in the fridge for a day or two. So two days later, this is my coffee and all we need to do is filter this off. So I'm just gonna use the sieve here and just filter off all of my coffee while my cat plays with something in the background. I'm just gonna put this back into the mason jar and then this coffee is gonna be a little bit concentrated. So what you wanna do is actually dilute this. Now I diluted it with about two cups of water, which might've been a little bit too much. It might've made it a little bit weaker than I would've hoped for. So it's a good idea to just taste test and add a little bit by little bit to get a coffee that's the concentration that you want. All right. Now here comes the real trick. What we need in order to be able to make the nitro cold brew is a whipping siphon. Now these things are relatively inexpensive and I think they're a really great tool uh, to be able to have in the kitchen. There's a lot you can do with them outside of just making whipped cream. And what we're gonna do is fill the whipping siphon up with the cold brew coffee up to its level and then just seal the lid back on. Once we know it's firm and tight, we are going to need to add one cartridge. Now for the type of cartridge, ideally you wanna use the N2 type of cartridge. This is pure nitrogen but most of the actual whipping siphon charges are N2O, which will work fine if you can't find N2, but it's a little bit better if you can use the N2. Although I've used N2O before and it, you really can't tell and it's completely fine. We're gonna give that one little shake to make sure that the gas and the coffee get a good mixture. And then you're just going to very gently try to release some of the coffee out. And you never, never have any idea how <laughs> pressurized it's gonna be when you release something like this. So it's always good to go on the safer side and and kind of slowly release it, adding a little bit of the coffee into the cup as gently as possible. Now, as we can see here, it's all nice and foamy and we have those nice nitrogen bubbles that really just have that almost like Guinness-like look. It looks great. So another little trick is if it's been sitting out for a little bit, you can always just top it up with a little bit more of the nitrogenated coffee and it's just a matter of enjoying it. Now, as far as the taste test, it was great. I loved it. I think it's great. So uh, yeah, I recommend that you make this recipe because it's super simple. And if you like nitro cold brew, you can save a lot of money instead of getting it at Starbucks. All right, bye.